Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at Crazy Cubes. Crazy Cubes, you get one set, looks like you get two of them inside. One is clearly indicated, looks like it's an angry little computer. One is Mystery, Mystery Cube. But you get two of them down below there, as indicated in the package. The item inside the package may vary from photographs and or illustrations. Keep addresses and phone numbers for future references. Please retain this information for future reference. Please remove all packaging, remove before giving to children. An adult should periodically check this toy to ensure no damage or hazard exists. If so, remove it from use. Children should be supervised during play. And then some Francais. Uh, that's going through a lot of effort. A lot. I love. The, I especially like the uh, parents should go back. Go back to this this toy later on and see if hazard exists. What kind of hazard are we talking about? Oh, sure. Okay. If the the child has swallowed it, but uh, you won't know that going back looking at the toy. You'll probably notice that by your choking child. Down below, Spin Master. You can go to www.crazycubes.com. On the back, I guess it shows you how to fire them. You push the marble into its forehead, or a top of its head, and you squeeze his feet up and it fires off the ball. Nothing on the side here. Oh, just you can go to www.spinmaster.com. Now there were several of these available. There was also ones that actually came with a soccer kind of goal it's a much larger set. Those are about $12. I went with the somewhat blank blind box here. This set, I think, was about $5. I figured it was a good start, a good introduction to the world of Crazy Cubes. Perhaps if this guy likes more Crazy Cubes, well, he certainly will pick up more. Let's not put the cart before the horse, though. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Crazy Cubes. Stay tuned, there's more on the way. Don't go anywhere. We'll first have a look at the pamphlet that comes with Crazy Cubes. This is the Crazy Cube Guide. You are as lost with the, the notion of what these things actually do as much as I am, then perhaps these, this guide here will guide us through this. First of all, you get a Crazy Cube card indicating the cube number, the team, teammates, his name, this is Crab Crabiar. I don't think I got Crabiar. I got this guy in again blind box. Uh, cool factor. Oh, he's got a cool factor. Oh, because he's got. Oh, I see. They're being clever because he's got sunglasses on. Power, craziness, defense. Um. Oh, a point system. Still standing. Side face. Face up. Upside down. Oh, what do we got here? Logo up, character up. Anybody? Oh, I guess maybe I should have opened it. I should have opened this first. Load. Shoot. So I guess you you can either take said cube. I'm following the instructions here. Said cube, and pop the the orb or whatever we want to call it in the top. Or you can put them upside down and push them down onto it to load them. To shoot them, you're, you're basically going to hold the top part, finger of course away from the, the actual ball, and you're going to you're going to push the legs up. Pushing the legs up looks like it's going to shoot this projectile out. Uh, then it says target. So I guess you stack them. Oh, you also have the stands here. These will be for the cards. We'll get into that in a second. Oh, some ideas. So you can take the cards and use some of the, you see that there's little notches there. There's a corner notch, corner notch, and then side notches. So you can actually devise like a little play area, like a little goal ramp. 
Uh, I don't know. It just seems like they're it just seems like they're just throwing together some ideas. Just throwing a whole bunch of stuff that worked once. Let's throw it together now. Uh, guaranteed, we're going to sell a lot of these. These are the teams: Aqua, Arctic, Circus, Fight, Forest, Gadgets, Jurassic, Medieval, Monster, Robox. Oh, and the crazy ultra rare here or right here. All right, so none of us, I don't think any of us know quite how to play this game yet. But there's the guide nonetheless. And put that down. Let's first have a look at the guy that we got. One of the reasons why I picked this guy out, for one thing, he's an angry computer. Kind of a very old school computer with the little disk drive in the front. This kind of looks like the kind of computer I had using in school. I think I was in junior high and we had the little disk. Oregon Trail, anybody? Anybody remember Oregon Trail as being a staple in school? Let's not also forget Where in the World was Carmen San Diego, which was one of my personal favorites as well. You get his trading card. CP Cube is his name. Apparently he is relatively cool. He's 62 on the, I don't know, cool factor. Craziness, I think he's 73. There's something there on the back he could scan. As, uh, as the, inst the instruction guide tried to show, you can take the little standee and you can take the card and slide it into the standee. So it can hold the card like that. You can hold it like that and you can have like a little wall that you can have these ricocheting off. I don't know. You can have it angled. You know, take another piece, angle it. I guess it's whatever your heart desires. Probably your heart desire is not to play <laughs> it's not to play this game, but you get a trading card. To operate it, again, you're gonna squeeze the legs and that's gonna fire out this little orb. Little sphere. Inside, it sounds like there's a weight inside. It says crazy cubes. 2012 crazy cubes. When you're done, again you can either push it in the top, which will bring out his legs, as you can see. Or you can put the orb down, put that over top, and boom. I also really like this one because it reminded me of an 80s cartoon that I watched when I was younger. It was about some fairy and some TV set that was in a forest and there was a talking caterpillar. No, no, I'm not making it up. It did actually exist. But you get this guy. Now let's see what we actually got in Mystery Box. Maybe it's as, Maybe it's even better. Oh, hey, we got a monkey. Crazy, crazy monkey. It's a little more, you get, it's got a metallic sticker on it. It's number 31. What's this one here? This one is 28. 28 for the computer, monkeys, 31. What's neat though, unlike the computer that really does nothing when you push the orb out, I keep calling it an orb. This one here, when you push the orb out, you'll see that his mouth opens. Well, it is open, and then it closes. And it shoots out a little white orb. Oh, with a banana on the end. Go banana. Just put that back in the top here. The one thing that confused me, though, is you get two of them. Both of them have their little spheres of death. And then you also get an extra one. I guess this is just in case you lose this one's got a battery on the end. I, have, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's in case you lose one of them, you have a backup ball. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it. Oh, by the way, there's his card. His name is Cube O Sapien. That's rather witty. So witty. His cool factor is 71. Yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend these. Crazy Cubes um, seems like one of those novelty things that will exist for about a month, maybe two months if we're lucky, and then you'll never see it ever again. You'll never see either of these ever again. Uh, but they are interesting. I, I can say they're interesting. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at Crazy Cubes. Not really my cup of tea, maybe it is yours. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.